Hello everybody, my name is Oliver Senhauser and I have the pleasure to present you now MariaDB point in time recovery. Uh, before we start, a, f a question everybody should ask himself. How are you doing your backups? So most of us do backups. Why hardware gets broken is one of the answers we hear. So if your hardware breaks, typically with backups you are too slow to fix the hardware. This can take hours or even days to recover. So if you fear that you break your, back, uh, your hardware, uh, you need a high availability solution. So another reason uh, why we need backups is are logical errors. So this is the most common type of uh, problems you can have in the database. Logical errors means, for example, drop table, truncate table, update or delete. So for this kind of error, we need backup to fix them. So how are we doing backups? Uh, there are two different methods how we can fix backups. One method is a, we call it logical backup, and the tool is MariaDB dump. And the second technology is physical backups. Uh, physical backup would be in this situation MariaDB backup. So the topic of this presentation is point-in-time recovery. Uh, some of us do several backups a day, or we can also call it a pulse backup. So we do a backup, for example, 6 o'clock in the morning, then we wait for some time, then we do another backup 6 hours later at 12 o'clock, then we wait some time, we do another backup at 18 o'clock. So how many hours do you want to wait between the backups? And what is between the backups. And this is where point-in-time recovery comes into play. So the idea of point-in-time recovery is that we can recover all the changes since last full backup by replaying the binary logs. So we must record all database changes after the last backup or better all the changes at all and this is done by enabling the binary lock. So when we enable the binary locks all the changes in the database are recorded. We can also call it a change lock or a journal of the database and this is done in your MariaDB configuration file by uh, setting the variable lock bin and Another variable we strongly recommend to enable is the bin log format equal row. That's not the, the default in MariaDB. So enabling the binary logs requires a database restart. Let's start with a logical backup we need for the point in time recovery. So for a point in time recovery, we need a consistent full backup of your MariaDB database and our recommendation for a logical backup is to do the logical backup uh, with the following MariaDB dump command. Important are the options single transaction and master data equal one. All the other options are more or less optional. If you do it in that way, uh, you can be sure that your backup works successfully and works as expected. If you do the backup with a physical backup methods, we also need a consistent full backup of your database. And our recommendation for doing a physical full backup is with the tool MariaDB Backup. Uh, you have to do it actually in two steps, which is the first step, you do the backup. And the second step is the prepare step. So for doing a physical backup, you need a physical access to the database file and the right privileges to access the files. Uh, so my personal wish here for the developers is uh, could we have probably an option called backup and prepare so we can do both in one step. That would be really nice from the point of view of an administrator. 
For restoring the backup, it depends how you did the backup. If you did a logical backup, you can simply cat your dump file or uncompress and cat your dump file into the MariaDB client and then wait for some time and after this time uh, backup is completed. So you are back at the state where you did your backup. If you restore a physical backup, it's a little bit more compli uh, complicated. First, you have to clean up the contents of your data directory, which is by default varlib mysql. Then you have to copy back the data from your backup location to the data directory. And finally, if you're working or if you are running with the user root, uh, you have to own, change the owner of the database file so your deck backup process can access the files. So my wish to the developers here is uh, could we please remember the ownership of those files during the backup so by default it's recovered with exactly the same ownership than we did the backup so it's at least one step simpler for restoring the backup. So now we have restored our database and we come to the point in time recovery. So what we need uh, for the point in time recovery, we need the exact point in time of the backup in the binary log stream. We need binary log file and binary log position. So here I made it graphically. We have our backup which is restored at four, uh, 2 o'clock in the morning. So that's what we get after the restore and now we are missing the other part. So we have to figure out what binary log file at what position belongs to this backup. So now starting point how we do we get to that how do we get that technically technically uh, starting point for point in time recovery when the backup was done with MariaDB dump you get at line approximately 22 in your backup you get this information here change master to master log file then the name of your log file and master log position a byte position inside this binary log. If you did the backup with MariaDB backup then you find the binary log file and the binary log position here in your backup in this file called extra backup bin log info and here again binary log file and the position where you have to start your point in time recovery. So with your point in time recovery we have done the full restore we know the file and the position and now we want to play back binary log 23, 24, 25, 26 etc. up to the point where you did the logical error. So how do we do technically the point in time recovery? For point in time recovery you need an other utility called MariaDB bin log. And then in this tool MariaDB bin log uh, you have to enter the start position which is the position in the first binary log you just figured out from your backup. Then you have to enter the stop date time so this is the date and the time where you want to stop with the point in time recovery and then you have to list all the binary logs in the right order, starting with the binary log you were indicated in the backup until the last binary log you have or the binary log where your uh, logical error is in. If you want to be a little bit more precise than stopping at a certain date time which has a granularity of one second, uh, you can add a stop position. So stop position can be, ne uh, can be used uh, but then you need MariaDB bin log utility to find exact stop position within the binary log file. 
So uh, my advice to you is uh, first try against running this command against less and not directly pipe it into your MariaDB database to check if you got the right position at the beginning and the right position at the end. So technically, this is already basically what you have to do. So I um, want to also look a little bit uh, on related topics which are very very close or similar to point-in-time recovery and to flashback. So instead of doing all this, uh, restoring the data, figuring out binary lock file, binary lock position and then applying all the binary logs up to the end, there could be also another possibility how to fix the problem. So the idea is, what about just fixing the logical error instead of repairing everything? And for this question, uh, there is also an answer in the MariaDB binary log, which is called the binary log flashback. So technically what happens here is uh, we just reverse the DML operation. So all the update, insert and deletes are reverted. And to do this, we need the binary log format equals row in the configuration of the binary logging. And then how we operate that, uh, you still, uh, or you and again need the tool MariaDB bin log with the option flashback. And then you do start position, which is the position of your oops query, of your logical error query. Then you need the stop position which is the position where the next good query starts and then you have to specify the binary log. If you pipe that against your MariaDB database uh, you need also the force option and if you pipe that against your MariaDB database uh, then just the DML command which went row will be fixed. Another topic uh, which is a little bit more advanced, is a uh, point-in-time recovery with global transaction ID. Uh, this is a brand new feature which comes in in the new uh, still alpha or beta quality MariaDB 10.8 release. So if you do the dump uh, with MariaDB dump minus minus GTID, master data equals 1, you see in your dump at line 25 to 29 uh, some other information you see here change master to master use gtid slave pass and you see here set global gtid slave pass and then the gtid of this dump and then if you want to use uh, gtid point in time recovery you need mariadb bin log utility with the option gtid strict mode and then you say start position GTID where to start and you say stop position GTID where to stop and here you can just uh, indicate all the binary logs which should be executed or searched for this global transaction IDs in the right order you can pipe it to your MariaDB client so this looks uh, for me a little bit easier to fix the or to do a point-in-time recovery uh, one little difference to the traditional MariaDB point-in-time recovery is that here GTID, uh, stop GTID is inclusive. So compared to the stop position with a normal traditional where the stop position is excluded. Uh, as I already said, this feature is brand new. Uh, it's not uh, yet even documented, so the only source I found here is uh, the release notes of MariaDB 10.8 and what I also found is here uh, the JIRA ticket uh, 4989 on the MariaDB website. And the last topic I want to talk to you is not about point in time recovery but about restoring in general. So now we know how to back up how do we do restore, how we should do point-in-time recovery. But what about testing your restore? So my personal advice to you is test your restore, test your restore regularly. 
Why should you test your restore? First of all, your restore might not work at all. And you find it out much, much, much later. You find it out when you need it, and not then when you have done it. Uh, then another reason is why you should test your restore uh, is that the restore can take very, very, very long time. So you should also test your mean time to repair, or in modern terms, it's called uh, re recovery time objective, recovery point object objective. So what it technically means, in what time can you restore your database, and to what point can you restore your database. So this is something you do not want to figure out during your restore and during your point-in-time recovery. This is something you already want to know before you start with your restore and point-in-time recovery. And the last reason why you should test your restore regularly is if you do it regularly you get experience, you know it works, you become more calm and you know how to do it. So my advice to you, please test regularly your restore. So once a quarter at least would be a very very good idea. So finally I have said everything which is important for MariaDB point-in-time recovery in the old style and the new style and now I am open for your questions for discussions and we still have some time for personal talks so please just contact me.